This is the final profile of the month with Spring Awakening cast member, Taylor Trench. Taylor Trench, how are you doing today? Steffi D, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Sad, okay. we're almost done. Yes, only three performances left. Yeah. It is May 22nd, 2010. I thought it was the 20th. Oh, you're right, it is the 22nd. Yeah, because we close on the 23rd. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> if you're ready for this, I am. I think so. Um, this is, and you were the chosen final profile of the month. So let's get this show on the road. Okay. Woo! Question number one. Renee said, Hi, Taylor. Hey, Renee. I saw you multiple times in Cincinnati and fell absolutely in love with you. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? Thank you, Renee. Um, I like to nap a lot. It is my number one favorite. <laughs> and I also like to um, go to concerts and um, find new bands to listen to. I like stealing the camera of my dear friend Kayla Foster because she just bought a brand new fancy pants camera. I like to steal that and take pictures. Um, I taught myself how to play the ukulele, so did Lucas, so we like to do that together. Um, what else? I like to I like playing playing with other people's dogs, other people's dogs, because I don't have one and I love dogs. I like uh, I'm probably gonna regret saying this, but I like to learn things. That makes me sound really nerdy. But I like to learn, because I'm not in school right now, so I don't miss the homework. But I, I don't know, yeah, I learn about space and dinos and... <gasps> dinos! Dinos and presidential history. I guess that's it. Amazing. Yeah. Question number two. Shannon and Chris asked, When did you decide acting was what you wanted to do? Who or what inspired you? Got it. When I was six years old, there was an article in the newspaper... Um, regarding auditions for a community theater production of The Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was the coolest thing that you could do the movie in real life. So I decided to audition. I sang This Land is My Land, This Land is Your Land, from California to the New York Island. And got it, got a munchkin, did the show, peed my pants opening night, <laughs> didn't get to go in for curtain call. But from that show, I knew that acting and music in some way, either combined or separate. I knew I wanted to have that in my life. So then I transferred to performing arts high school and middle school and elementary school and went to college for it. And my teachers inspired me to kind of keep going and stuff like that. And then people who inspire me now are Steffi D. Oh, yes, of and, course, um, obviously. Actors like <laughs> John Malkovich and Jeff Goldblum, Daniel Day Lewis, Christopher Guest, Emil Hirsch, and John Gallagher Jr. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Are you ready for question number three? I guess that's six. Just so. <laughs> Maria, Sarah, Joanna, Elaine, and Rosy, and Michael Whoa. want to know. That's a lot of people. I know. What is your dream role, even if it hasn't been written yet? I wish that I could see into the future. No. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> um... I love the role of St. Jimmy, an American idiot right now. I think that's so cool. I don't know if I'm right for it whatsoever, but that would be fun. My dream, dream role, ultra, dream, mega, dream, <laughs> <laughs> is um, Richard III and Richard III by Bill Shakes. Um, but I won't be able to play that for many a decade. So I guess I'm going to stick with American Idiot for now. And um, as far as things that haven't been written, I really like... David Lindsay Bear and Annie Baker. So if they wrote something, I'd love to be in it. Or if Quentin Tarantino wrote a play, mm -hmm. I would love to do that. And I would love to do it with Steffi D. Yay, that would be so good. Okay. Question number four. Nicole, Annabelle, and Elaine ask you, Taylor Trench. Yes. You freaking rock that mic. Oh, you do. Ever consider a music career? I'd buy your album. Well, thank you. I was, Steffi and I were asked this question recently at a Q&A, and I said, no way, Jose, because we were very scared every night as with the singing aspect. Getting mm -hmm. up in front of those people and singing every night is very scary. And um, I have only been taking voice lessons for a, a very short time, so I, it's scary. I'm, like, nervous that I'm even, I'm, I'll be able to sing the songs. 
So I don't think so. It's not really in my in my cards. But thank you. It's super cool. Maybe I'd be like in the background of a band, like playing tambourine or something. Oh, nice. Because I do like like swinging that mic around. Yeah. And is it true that you did? You know, you said you watched some um, Rolling Stones videos. Yeah, Mick Jagger's big it's inspiration. Yeah, is, cool. French for stuff All right, thank yes. you. Yes, no, thank you. Question number five. Jordan from Kentucky and anonymous. <gasps> That's so scary. Straight away, I want to say that you are amazing. By far, my favorite Moritz. Thank you. I am also proud to hear that you are gay because you inspire me, a gay man, so much. Do you have any advice for other gay actors or gay teens in terms of coming out of the closet? Also, does it bother you to be considered a role model? Keep up the awesomeness. I'll try. Um, does it bother me to be considered a role model? I say no, but I think it's super crazy that I could ever be considered one because I'm very ordinary and not role model material. But thank you for thinking so. Um, my advice is, I think in general, coming out, the most important person is yourself. You have to be 100% comfortable with it before you can ever start to worry about what other people will think. And then, you know, in the end, the people who stick around are the coolest and the most important and the smartest, so they're the people you want to be with, and anyone who leaves your life was stupid anyway and is a freak, so. Yeah. Loser. So like... <laughs> and then, um, as far as, like, being an actor goes, I feel like I read in interviews a lot that you should wait until you're famous or have, like, a very established career to come out. Which I think is like kind of sad and I think probably more true for film um, but I think that in order to um, to not be treated like second-class citizens anymore people have to be brave and honest and come out um, when they're ready so that it's not a problem for actors yeah that's fabulous so be, be proud say it loud yeah Woo! Woo! yeah okay Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Question number six. six. Zach, Chris, okay. Annabelle asks you, Taylor Trent, uh -huh. can you describe your Spring Awakening audition experience? A. What did you sing? B. B. Did you know from the start that you wanted Moritz? And C. C. Had you seen the show before? Okay. A. Oh, what's that again? Oh, what, did, what did you sing? Okay. A. I have sang in a video. Left Behind from Spring Awakening. I did not mm -hmm. follow the rules. It says it specifically says now I realize. Don't sing a song from the show, but I, I'm dumb. So I did, <laughs> um, and that was many a year ago. So in that video, did some video callbacks um, for the show, which means like they sent me sides and scenes from the show and other songs, and I had to re-record them and send them back. Um, then I went to a couple of years later, once I got to college, I went to an open call with Matthew Shingledecker because mm -hmm. um, we went to school together and sang Don't Do Sadness. So again, didn't follow the rules um, and then got callbacks from there and such and such. What else? B was, um, did you know from the start you wanted to play Moritz? Um, Moritz was definitely the part that jumped off the stage for me the most. I like was able to connect to him the most and I think he's an amazingly written person um, but I didn't think that I had the like the vocal chops or the stamina to sing that eight times a week so I think but I you my, do uh, I hope so <laughs> not actually I'm like feeling like I'm gonna die like neither or near in the end <laughs> oh, um, so I think I kind of have my eyes I had my eyes set on Hanchen because he like gets to have a lot of fun in the show he gets to masturbate on stage and seduce people and just be like an, a jerk so I, I think maybe that was kind of also, who I like to play, but I'm really glad that I'm Moritz. I think he's the number one best. Cool. And see, um, and see, had you seen the show before? Many times. I saw it off Broadway. Saw it on Broadway, um, and then saw the tour a hundred million times in rehearsals. A hundred million times. Approximately. Time. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Question number seven. Many people asked, where do you find your inspiration to play such an intense and tortured character like Moritz? This is probably a boring answer, but I'm gonna say my own life, and I'm I don't I have not had a horrible tortured life. I, my parents don't beat me, and I I'm not that much like Moritz. But I think we've all felt the emotions that Moritz has felt. Maybe not to as intense of a degree, but we've all felt um, like we've disappointed someone or rejected or like nothing we ever do is right. I think so. I just yeah use what I felt in my lifetime and. 
make it bigger for the stage. Cool. Yeah. 